my channel so it's Adrienne here and you are watching Bright Beauty 14. So in this video I'm going to be doing a hair tutorial and I haven't done a hair tutorial probably since last year which is a long time and yeah so I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to do kind of these everyday curls and I asked you guys if you wanted a hair tutorial or a what's on my iPhone. The next video will be a what's on my iPhone so get ready for that. Um, but if you do have any other requests, then let me know. But I did a hair tutorial on how to kind of do everyday curls that, like, just work and that are very simple. And this is, like, a 20-minute, 15-minute look, depending on how quick you are. And, yeah, um, you can also do, like, a lot of hairstyles coming off of this. And this hairstyle also lasts, for me, for, like, two to three days. But I'll usually just leave it for, like, today, the day I curl it, and then the next day, um... But if you just kind of want a long-lasting hairstyle, this is a really good go-to. And it just gives you, like, so much volume and it makes you look really glamorous. And just, I love this hairstyle so much and I just think it's really nice. So, I hope you guys do too. And if you decide to recreate it, let me know. And if you have any other video requests, let them, let me know. <laughs> Tell me them in the comments down below. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys will like the video and if you do, give it a thumbs up and let's just get started. So what you'll need is a curling wand and I have a Conair U-curl in extra large and it's kind of tapered which helps to give a more wavy and beachy effect because it doesn't just make giant rings. So try and get one that's tapered but if you can't then that's okay. If one just straight one it is fine, we can work with it. Next, you're going to need a heat protector because you don't want your hair to burn. And this is like an everyday kind of look. So if you want to wear this every day, it's you're going to want to protect your hair so that it stays soft and it doesn't get burnt. And then you'll also need hair ties if you want to like clamp it up or a clamp just to section your hair up. And you'll also need hairspray and a volumizing spray. And for me, a volumizing spray is super crucial just because it helps to make the waves a lot bigger and just to help give a lot more volume to the hair. Okay, so step one is to brush your hair because no one likes working with super knotty hair and you want to make sure it's nice and smooth for the curls. And then the next step is to apply heat protectant and a volumizing spray because you want your hair to be protected from the heat and you want your hair to be super volumized because curls look really good when they're volumized. And then the next step is to section your hair off because you need to... Like, it's a lot easier to curl your hair when it's in sections, so definitely do this part. And it's a lot, like more effective if you section it off in separate in like more than two sections but two sections is easy if you're kind of in a rush once you've bopped, it's time to curl, so you want to take your curling wand and wrap a small to medium sized hair chunk around the barrel and for about 5 to 7 seconds I would say would give a nice like wavy curl that's not too tight. And so you just want to repeat this process of going all around your head um, but curling it away from your face. That's how you get a more of a beachy look because if you're doing it towards your face it gives kind of a weird like, I don't know, like a framing thing and it just doesn't look good sometimes so you want to curl all the pieces of hair to the back but if you feel like they're starting to clump up you can add a hair or two that is curled towards the front but yeah I'd suggest just curling them all to the back and holding it for about five to seven seconds it's time to let down your top section so that you can curl that part and this is like easy as well because it's a bit less hair now and you've ki kind of gotten over the big chunk of hair that you needed to finish up so you could also just um tie the bottom section that you just curled up so that it doesn't get in the way but 
It doesn't really matter if you want to save time, you don't have to. And then just continue going on and curling backwards. And um, for the top section, I like to make them a little bit tighter just so that they are more apparent and that they are just like nicer because it's the top section that's being shown more. And yeah, and then curl it also towards the back and in smaller sections held for a little bit longer. After your second bop, just go and curl any extra pieces. And for your bangs, if you have bangs, um, you can just like curl it, but hold it for like three seconds and it'll give a really nice wave that frames your face and isn't too tight. And then just go and find any straight pieces that you find and curl them up. It's pretty easy, easy to find once you have curled all of your hair. And the next part is just to fluff around with your hair, flip it, brush it. Brushing it is actually a really effective way or curl combing it because it will give it a really nice just smooth wavy texture instead of it all being tight and yeah this is it that's how you do it so that was the video i hope you guys liked it i hope you guys like this kind of everyday curl tutorial and if you did big it a, give it a big old juicy thumbs up and click the big old juicy subscribe button and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see y'all in the next video Ta -ta!